Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar. In this video, I am going to talk about real analysis, recurrent sequence. Uh, this video is very important if you are going to write IIT exam exams, coming net exam in June and UPSC exam. Okay? So, let's see what happens and how we approach these steps in approach karna hai. Okay? See, this question is asked actually in UPSC 2017 men's ka paper. But this type of questions, you will see in UPSC and NET and JAM. Mein bhi hai. So let's see, understand the concept. So what is the question? If x1 is equal to 2, the initial value is 2, and you are defining a recurrence, xn plus 1 is equal to root over xn plus 20, then show that the sequence xn is convergent. Take it? So you can see that this sequence is convergent. You can prove it. या इस टाइप से क्वेश्चंस क्या होते हैं कि कभी-कभी सब्जेक्टिव में भी डालते हैं आप इंटरव्यू का प्रिपरेशन करोगे या आप कहीं पीएचडी का एग्जाम देने जा रहे हो वहां पर सब्जेक्टिव में आपको डाल देंगे कि प्रूफ कीजिए कि सीक्वेंस कन्वर्जेंट है तो दैट मींस यू शुड नो हाउ टू राइट दिस काइंड ऑफ सॉल्यूशंस राइट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड तो कैसे इस टाइप के क्वेश्चंस को हमें बनाना है आई ऑलवेज स्टार्ट हाउ टू अप्रोच दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन हाउ टू कैसे अप्रोच करना है? So see, there are two, three most important thing that I have to recall. So what what is given? You have given me that x one is two and x n plus one is nothing but root over x n plus twenty. That's what you have given me. ठीक है? So on that basis, I have to show whether this sequence is convergent or not. So how do we prove this thing? What should be a general idea? Okay, it's an objective question. Hai. We know there are certain ways to solve, yeah, take counter example or something like that. But once you have a right, once there is a subjective part, how you should do? Right? So okay. <coughs> so there are many procedures. First thing observe is that, what is that? This is uh, xn. So, is clear? Let me recall this fact. What is the fact? If xn, if this is monotonically increasing, bonded sequence in R. then this is convergent in R. Correct है ना? तो हमने क्या बोला? अगर कोई sequence है, जो monotone में increasing है, और bounded है, तो वो converge करेगा R में. किस पे converge करेगा? And in fact, जो limiting value n tends to infinity होगी, xn, वो क्या लाएगी आपकी? ये xn जो है, इसका soup ले लो, इस set का soup लो ले लो, because this set is bounded, so supremum makes sense. So take the supremum of that set. That's something going to be your limit. Okay. So this is the results that I'm going to use. And how this is coming. How this fact is coming. That I would like to leave as an exercise. Please do yourself. It's very elementary. It's very basic. Take it up. So we have said what we have said. Action is increasing. First you should know what they mean by monotone increasing sequence. It's increasing, right? x1 less than equal to x2, x2 less than equal to x3 and so on and so forth, right? Then if that sequence is bounded above, right? Bounded, x sequence increase ho hai. Then you're saying this sequence is bounded. Matlab, there exists a capital M such that xn is less than equal to capital M. Then on that basis, then you have to prove that limiting value of the sequence is nothing but the soup of that. Take it Look at the set this xn and find the supremum of this set. And does it make sense? Of course it is makes sense because my set sequence you said is bounded. So this makes sense. So these type of things are generally we should first look whether the sequence is monotone or not. Right? So on that basis <coughs> you have given me x1 is equal to 2 and what is of course less than 5. x2 is nothing but root over x1. Let's put n equal to 1. So this is x2, x1 plus 20 which is strictly less than 
5 plus 20 and that's nothing but 5 x3 nothing but x2 plus 20 which is strictly less than 5 plus 20 because x2 is strictly less than 5 so this is equal to 5 so by using mathematical induction assume that xn is less than 5 then xn plus 1 assume xn is less than 5 then xn plus 1 is nothing but root over xn plus 20 and this has bound by 5 so this is 5 plus 20 is nothing but 5 so by mathematical induction xn is less than 5 for all n belongs to natural number fine so what I have done I have done very simple thing just I have gone through the sequence I have written some few terms of the sequence and I found that okay fine there is a certain uh, upper bound for each term and that upper bound is also going to be the general upper bound for my xn correct it? so my xn is bounded above so my sequence is bounded above and the upper bound value is 5 right and so sequence is bounded now uh, what do you mean by this this sequence is monotone or not look this is of course monotone because the first term is non-negative this is the first term is non-negative so x1 was 2 right so how how i can check this is monotone or not right so let's check this is monotone or not so for that <coughs> what I have done, I have done so far that my xn is less than 5, that's what I have proved. See, whether certain sequence, if, if some sequence is convergent, of course it is bounded. So, if, if someone has given you certain sequence, if that is unbounded, then of course it is not convergent in R, right? So, if you are talking about the convergency and all that, somehow, if first thing you can see that okay sequence is bounded then almost we have done so we now we have to prove whether the sequence is decreasing or increasing that's the one way not every sequence is increasing but this kind of sequence sometimes increasing so let's see so xn is less than 5 we have shown now look at this x1 was 2 and x2 is 2 plus 20 so this quantity is of course greater than x1 x3 is nothing but x2 plus 20 correct and this section yahan pe aap jo bhi jo bhi section aap add karoge this section is of course if you look at this is this is of course nothing but your 2 plus 20 plus 20 we are adding something, right? So this is of course greater than x2. Correct? So, on that note, go like this. So assume, assume that xn is greater than xn minus 1. Male take xn greater than xn minus 1. So what is xn plus 1? So xn plus 1 is, is nothing but xn, right? xn plus 1 is nothing but xn plus 20. And this or xn is greater than xn minus 1 plus 20. And xn minus 1 plus 20 is nothing but your xn. 5. So therefore, what we have proved that xn plus 1 is strictly greater than xn for all n belongs to natural number. Hence, this sequence is monotone increasing and bounded over. So, 
this sequence is conversion root. Okay. So this is the way to approach this kind of question if they'll ask in the subjective section. As I have to prove it. And even though it's objective, be here. So yeah, you know that shortcuts and all of that. But shortcuts will not not help you in the long run, right? Because at at the end, at some point of view, you will stuck, right? So learn that. So this is the way to do this. So x1 was this, x2 was this, x3. You take it this way. This is of course greater than equal to x2, and so on and so forth. This is greater than equal to x1. Yeah, this is x2 plus this. So this is greater than equal to x1 plus this. So this is nothing but x2. So assume this equal to this. So we have proved x is greater than equal to this. Correct? Now by mathematical induction. So by mathematical induction we have done this. Take care. So just you have to use the name by mathematical induction. So this is the way to you have to approach this question. So x n is convergent. Even though you can find out the limit as well. What is the limit? Take the limiting value both sides. So the sequence is convergent. Take the limit l both sides. So therefore, limiting value if we will assume l. So l is nothing but l square is equal to l plus twenty, and that's nothing but uh, l minus five. L plus four is equal to zero. So l is equal to five and minus four. But sequence are negative. But since x is greater than equal to zero. For all n, imply l is equal to five. So this is the way. Even though you can calculate the limit as well. Okay. So this is the way to approach this question. And I hope you got the idea. And uh, think like this. And if you want to learn more concepts, join the regular batch for UPSC program. It's already started. And the weekend batch for UPSC. And uh, if you need for JM or IIT JM, all that guidance and all. Everything is there. Call to the given number. You will get the all informations. Okay. So thank you for watching my videos. It really means a lot. Thank you so much.